Given the nature of mythology shows on television, a lot of them are struggling heavily because fans are resistant to believe that answers are coming. Do you guys have a roadmark, a map for like when answers will come for certain big questions, whether it's the crash or which reality is real, if either of them are, et cetera, et cetera? I think the, you know the question of the crash is really sort of that that is that is the story of the first season. So um, I think if you can stick with us for 13, then then you'll get an answer on that. You know, to us the issue of what's real and what's not is it's not really a question the show's trying to answer because it's actually a question the characters trying to avoid the answer to. And to us, what's more interesting is once you um, once you stake your claim with wanting to live literally in two different worlds that are going two different directions. Like to us, the, the drama and the conflict comes from seeing a person who's trying to live in two diverging universes. So um, I don't know that we're out anytime soon to answer the question of what's real and what's not. We're actually out to answer the question of what happens when you absolutely, fundamentally refuse to commit to one or the other being real. Well, I think it is a mythology show. I mean, just to sort of to sort of take your question, it's really, it, it, it is, it has a, a premise that's 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 interesting, and it certainly has, uh, you know, the idea of, you know, that that is the umbrella over which is real, which isn't. But the fact is, he's a guy who wakes up in one room with his wife and the other with his son, and solves crimes across those two worlds. And so it is a, it is a, an engine that's very durable and you know doesn't demand you know isn't dependent upon what came before or what's going to come after in terms of its building blocks of the show speaking to that are there, is there an element of the show though that is ba built around the audience discovering hidden clues talking about it online in forums and like coming up with their own theories and such I think the, this, the, the first, you know, obviously we, we're only uh, deeply into planning out and mapping the first season, but I think in telling that story of what actually happened to him, you know, what the accident was about and in doling that out, you know, we begin in the first episode, I mean, long before the answers are there, the things that both, that at least the character is picking up on, whether he's doing it consciously or subconsciously, we try not to waste anything. So. Um, I think the internet has uh, <laughs> it's certainly shown that people are like hyper observant television viewers. So I would say this this show certainly rewards people who um, who invest in television that way. And if that's if that's something that you enjoy, then I think it offers um, those little clues and hints, and you'll see those things um, woven together by the last episode of the season.